I personally believe that we can't give to other people until we fully give to ourselves. You can't pour from an empty cup and I think it's so important to create a self-care routine and find things that work for you. <clears throat> no, he was a killer. First time that I saw him. Wonder how many Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing my top 10 hacks and self-care essentials that have been really helping me uh, beating the winter blues and just staying in a positive mindset. Personally, I do tend to get a little bit more down in the winter months. So here are my 10 self-care essentials for beating the winter blues and really taking care of yourself when it's freezing cold outside and you don't want to do anything but lay in your bed and cuddle up and not move. <laughs> So my first essential is to be drinking something warm. Um, I'm always very cold in the winter times and I just like to kind of cuddle up and feel cozy. One of the ways that I do that is with tea and also coffee. So one of my favorite teas right now is this Blueberry Slim Life Green Tea. I really love it. It tastes really sweet. I love the little quotes that they have on Yogi Teas. Yep, my little message on the tea today says, if you let yourself be successful, you shall be. Oh my God, I dropped it in my tea. Oh no. Oh my god, I'm spilling tea all over myself right now. <laughs> Moving on. So my next self-care essential that I love doing is keeping myself organized. The best way that I've found to do that is with using my passion planner. I've talked about this in my last couple videos, so if you do want to check that out, I'll leave my most recent passion planner video in the description box below so you can check it out. Use a planner to get yourself organized or a bullet journal or something like that that you can kind of let your creativity flow and still keep yourself organized. The next self-care essential is the Headspace app, and I will pop something up on the screen of what it looks looks like um, but I really love this app if you haven't heard of it it's a meditation app and you can do 10 sessions totally free without paying for anything and that's what I started with and then I actually found a Groupon earlier this year that gave me a full year subscription for like 60% off so if you are interested in that I'll see if I can find the Groupon link I really noticed a big difference I'm already on a 20 I believe it's really made a big difference in just helping me relax and calm down and feel more peaceful throughout the day. Having that kind of helps keep my mind clear and my mind calm and at ease and I, I really love that app so I highly recommend it if you're looking for something to help you kind of calm your mind and feel a little bit more relaxed. My next self-care essential is my Kindle. I love my Kindle. I don't even know which version I have. I got it on Amazon about a year ago. I'm currently reading The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. I really love reading too because it kind of takes the stress away from everyday life. You can kind of escape and go into another world with your books. I actually have a ton of books on my January and February reading list. So if you are interested at all on seeing what I'm reading and my book reviews for what I've read for the month of January, definitely give this video a thumbs up and I'd be happy to film that for you. My next self-care essentials is focused all on my journals. I am obsessed with journals. I love writing. I love kind of getting all my thoughts out on paper. This journal I actually got from Disney World. It looks like the Beauty and the Beast VHS and I'm so obsessed with it. I just use that for like my poetry and kind of just my random thoughts. This is just my personal journal. I just write my daily gratitude, what's happening in my life, finding your typical journal. And then this, I got this from my dad for Christmas. And I really love this book. It's called 52 Lists for Happiness. Each week they have you do a different prompt and you create a different list for that week. It's really thought provoking and I really like it so far. I really love journaling and creating lists and all of that because it helps me get my thoughts out on paper which helps me feel less stressed. My next self-care essential is to leave yourself little love notes all around. I know it sounds cheesy but I think it's awesome. I will just take a post-it note and I'll write a few positive affirmations or words of encouragement and I'll put them either in my planner or behind my door or something where I'll see it, especially if I'm feeling really down and really kind of out of it and in a funk, it really helps me focus on the more positive and focus on things that are a little bit happier and gets me in a better mindset. My next two tips are very similar. The first one is to eat healthy, that eating healthy and being active, which is my next tip, are kind of cliche things that everybody says to make you feel better, but it's because it's true. If you're anything like me and you're really feeling down in the winter time, last thing you probably want to do is work out and and eat healthy food. For anything like me, you probably want to curl up in your bed, sleep all day, and stuff your face with Pringles and other junk food snacks. <laughs> but it really helps to release your stress. It helps you feel more productive because you feel like you're doing something good for your body. So that in turn makes me want to do more good things, which keeps me busy. And it just, it helps 
kind of shake me out of that funk when I'm in it. Next tip is creating feel-good vibes in your space. For me, I really love music. I create Spotify playlists all the time. I have one that's actually called Feel Good Vibes. I'll play that whenever I'm feeling a little bit down and it usually helps lift my mood up. I also really love putting a record on my record player. It's really soothing. It's nice to light some candles and just play some music and sip on some tea and combine all these tips into one big self-care pampering routine. My last and final tip, the biggest thing I've noticed is, is if I'm really, really, really in a very negative funk and my brain just is filled with negative thoughts and I can't seem to get around it, my biggest thing is to make sure that I'm making my people a priority. What I mean by that is make sure that you're making plans with the people that you care about. It's easy to just go through our routine and just wake up, go to work, come home, go to bed, right? But I think it's so important to make time for the people that we love and make time for the people that make us feel happy. There's no point in wasting your time with people that make you feel bad about yourself. You should be spending time with people that make you feel good. Being around the people that make you feel good will help you feel good. <laughs> Even if you're in a really negative place, if you're around people that you care about and that care about you and want you to be happy, it's going to automatically just help your mood. So those are all of my self-care essentials. I think it's so important that we take care of ourselves to help you be those winter blues or even on those days that you're just kind of having a bad day so you have a system in place or things that you can do that will help your mood. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any self-care tips that you really love, comment down below. I'd love to add some new things to my routine. I'm always trying new things with my self-care routines. And if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, follow me on social media and be sure to subscribe for more videos all about self-care. Uh, minimalism and simple living. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. My exes, but he act like such a man. So I see nothing better. I keep him forever.